Hi, it's me again with Crow Doll Tips and Tricks. In today's video, I'm going to show you you could do the same thing and have round ones or non-round ones. And you could actually have them a lot squared off than that. We're going to start with a six-sided polygon. And I'm going to draw a polygon holding down the control button so it's perfectly even. And now I'm just going to take a three-point curve line. And I'm going to start right here on this node. And I'm going to I'm going to have to move that other thing out of the way in a second. I'm going to, matter of fact, I'm going to hold down the control button and that gets me a perfect art. Let me move this out of the way. Now what we want to do is take this control D to duplicate alternate C to have it rotate from the center. And we're going to rotate it, rotate it 60 degrees. And you can see there, we got that even amount. Now, what I'm going to do is now take this line again, control D, alternate C, and I'm going to rotate it just 30 degrees. That put a line right in the middle. Now we can take this polygon, R to get a new one, but we can control D and then hold down the shift key and have it grow outwardly. And this is where my curl keeps doing that. I'm not, I let go of the control button and it you know what? I'm just going to start and get a new one. Let me uh, back up here. Uh, well, you know, matter of fact, now that I see that, when I rotate it, I'm not on that corner. I need to be... This line doesn't really matter, but I do want it off there a little bit so I can use the shape tool to get it like that. That doesn't look too bad. Now, you don't have to use a polygon you could do this. You could just use a, uh, let's use a two-point line. And let's do this. Let's try going from here outwardly and then from there upwardly. Now, I'm going to go ahead and group this together. It'll be easier to get rid of it in a second. So I'm going to control G. I'm going to set my nudge factor on like 20 inches. I'm going to take my smart fill tool. I'm going to go ahead and use that same orange as I did. I like it. And then I'm going to fill these two in. Now on the top one, I'm going to take and get my interactive fill tool. And I'm going to swipe across. I'm going to put orange on both sides. You don't have to do this. I'm just giving you a suggestion. Then you could bring in some white. And as long as you get on that line and get that plus sign, you'll have some white. Now we're not, we don't have much uh, detail there. So I'm gonna add a little orange on both sides of it. Maybe spread these out just a little bit. Now on the bottom one, I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna use the interactive fill tool. I'm gonna go upwardly, but I'm gonna put some dark up there. And then you could change this and bring it around, you know, back it off and it'll do more. I think that looks pretty good. Now, because I group these together, I can move them out of the way. And we're gonna use them here in a second. Now, I've got a sharp point right there I don't really like, but that's from the polygon. I'm gonna group these together, Control G, Control D to duplicate and alternate C to rotate it. And we're working with 60 degrees, so I'll rotate it 60 degrees. And there you have that shape. Now, we could completely change that. That look, I kind of like that. Let's move that out of the way. And let's bring this back. And this is why I do stuff like this. Let's take a, an ellipse now, holding down the control button, get it perfect, and hit P. Not quite big enough. Let's go holding down the shift key so it'll grow inwardly. I can cut that one line out. I don't want that line there, so... You could take the virtual segment delete key and just delete that line. Now we got those patterns, but see, we got a round object now. So let's do a uh, smart fill, fill both of them in. Take the top again, get the interactive fill tool, which I have a hot key that is for G. And now let's add a little bit of white. You don't have to use white, but I think it really makes it uh, look good. 
or at least in my opinion. And we'll do the exact same thing. Now I could have used the attribute odd dropper to grab that darkness, but I'm going to grab that bottom one now in interactive fill tool. And I'm going to go upwardly. I'm going to put a little darkness in it. Now I got everything grouped together with the exception of the circle. So I can move this out of the way and then move that out of the way. We're still working in the center of the page. Control G to group, Control D to duplicate, Alternate C to have it rotate from the center and rotate at 60 degrees. Now we still have a polygon in the center. So that doesn't look too bad. Now this would be a great example to clone it. And I've done a lot of enough videos on clone, but this one would be a really good, um, I'm going to move that out of the way, make sure I just have one copy. And I'm going to go and ungroup it. Now this one I'm going to grab. You have to do these individually. I'm going to go to edit and clone. I'm going to nudge it up, grab the bottom one, view or excuse me, edit, clone, move it up. Now these are our control curves. So I'm going to move them up and over. And then I'm going to nudge these back. Now I'm going to group them together for a second. Control G, Control D to duplicate. Alternate C to have it rotate from the center. Rotate at the 60 degrees. Now they are grouped together, so we've got to ungroup them. You could go up to Object, Group, and Ungroup, or Control U. But what I like about this, if we look at this now, get this a little bit closer. So when we zoom in, We'll see it better. Because this is a clone now, we'll grab that bottom one, interactive field tool, and we'll make it a little darker. See how it changed all the clone? And you could, you know, do a lot with this and have it go completely weird. I'm I'm really messed up here. I need to move this back up and this back over. Whoop. Sometimes it's just better to back up to back where we were. I actually didn't move that. And then bring this black down and have more dark. Then you could, you know, grab this. And if you wanted to, you could add blue, which I'm not going to suggest. But you could add a lot more orange, uh, even closer. And see how it's, watch, not watch what I'm doing. Watch what's to the left when I add a little more so it's got a little shininess to it. Anyway, I hope that gave you some ideas and thank you for watching.